Hello, here's a problem submitted by my student. It probably came in the test. And uh, let's look into it, okay? It says, it takes a crew one and a half hour to complete a round trip, rowing 10 kilometers with current and 10 kilometers against the current. If the rate of current is 5 kilometers per hour, find the rate at which crew can row in still water. Okay. Let's first try to understand what the problem is. Let's say this is your river flowing, okay? And now the crew is going from here, let's say down, and then up. And let's say the flow of the current is like this. Now, so it takes one and a half hour to complete the round trip. So that means if you start from here, go that way, and then come back, it takes one and a half hour. And how much is this distance? This distance is 10 kilometers, okay? So 10 down, and then let's say 10 up, okay? So total distance covered will be 20, right? And it takes one and a half hour to complete this round trip. And let's assume for the time being that uh, the speed of the crew in still water is x okay let's say the speed is x in this water right so when you're going down then the speed is x for the crew and what is the waters the rate of current is five kilometers so this is five kilometers per hour flowing downwards right so when you go down this helps you correct so your speed increases by five so it becomes x plus five when you go down but when you're going against the current then your speed is x minus 5 because you're going against the current. So that's the kind of situation which we are in. And, you know, so when you have a word problem, try to sketch it out and then see how, you know, to attempt it. And now, you remember speed-distance relationship? That's another important thing to know here, right? right? So that's our speed-distance triangle. Now, so I hope you know this. Well, in any case, the distance is speed into time. So we say distance d is speed s into time t, okay? Now, in our case, the units are kilometer for distance and hours for time. So speed is kilometers per hour, correct? So these are the units which we are going to follow. And here we are assuming that when they say find the rate at which the crew can row in still water, then you should start from here. So you say, let the rate at which the crew can row in still water is x. And that's how you define your variables. I'm not writing this all this here, but I'm making you understand. Okay, so first step is let, or let people know what variables you are using and what for. So first is, and that's a kind of a hint. In any word problem, they're asking for something, okay? Put that as a variable. So find the rate at which the crew can row in still water. Say, let the rate at which the crew can row in still water be x. So that should be a first statement. Second, just to make things very clear, so when they are going with the water, with the current, and you know the current is 5 kilometers per hour, so when you go with the current, then the speed, the relative speed we sometimes say is x plus 5. And the net speed you can see. And when you go against the net speed, I should use the term net speed. When you go against the current of the water, you go much slower, right? Because the water is against you, right? So therefore, your speed is still water speed minus the current speed, okay? The current of the water. So it is x minus 5 when you go against uh, the current, okay? Now, so that becomes the speed part. And now what is time? Time is distance divided by speed. And distance in both ways is 10 kilometers and 10 kilometers. So you get 10 kilometers over x plus 5 is the time to go downstream. And 10 kilometers over x minus 5 is the time to go upstream, correct? Now, total time is how much? One and a half hour. So you add them 
and get equated to one and a half hour. One and a half hour could be written as three over two. One whole and half, right? Three over two. I think you get, now you're in a position to do it very well, solve the question yourself at this time. So the idea of explaining all this was that now you can stop the video and work out the calculations and write down your equations, right? And then see, match your solution with mine, right? You may come out with brilliant ideas and better ones, but here's one uh, will I like to uh, share with you. So I also prefer sometimes to make table of L, some kind of a table. You know this diagram helps, this figure helps, and to do word problems, I also make sometimes tables. Let me make a table and share that with you here. So we'll make a table for the given condition. So what we know here is a couple of things. First, we have to find a relation between distance, speed, and time. Is that okay? So, so we'll make a table with this like this and write here distance. I'm writing distance as D, speed as S, and time as T, okay? And you can write units also here. It's always good to write units. For example, distance in kilometers, speed in kilometers per hour, and time in hours. Is that okay? Yeah. And then we have two sections here. We can divide our table into two sections, saying one is with the current, and the other one is against the current, right? So let me write with current and against current, okay? Now, and then let's get into the details of this. So both ways you cover a distance of 10 kilometers. Is that okay? That's very simple. And how about the speed? With current you saw your speed in still water is x. So with current it will be x plus 5, correct? Against current still water speed is x and against it will be x minus 5, correct? Now how much time do you take to do it? Time taken is this little triangle here, distance speed into time. So time is distance over speed, right? So we get distance of 10 over speed of x plus 5 here. This is with current, right? Lesser time because the denominator is higher, okay? Now here, it'll be 10 over x minus 5, much longer because denominator is smaller, right? So that's how it is. And now we know our equation. What is the equation? The total time is how much? 1.5 hours, right? So total time is this column. And we can write this as 1.5 hours. And one and a half could be written as 3 over 2 hours. Does it make sense to you? Why am I doing it in fractions? Because my time otherwise is given in fractions here. So this will help us to solve the equation. Does it make sense? Okay, so let's now, we have our equation, right? So what is our equation? Our equation is that the total time is 3 over 2, correct? Yes, so let's go ahead with our solution now, okay? So we have 10 over x plus 5 plus 10 over x minus 5 is equal to 1 and a half, which is 3 over 2, correct? Now, Second step, in all the word problems and everywhere, when I do like this, first thing is get rid of fractions. Now these denominators, we can find the common denominator, multiply each by that. Now the common denominator is x plus 5 times x minus 5 times 2, correct? Now when we multiply by this factor, x plus, so effectively we get 10 times these two terms. And here 10 times these two terms. And here 3 times these two terms. Correct? So we'll do straight away like that. So say 10 times, now I'll write 10 times 2 times x minus 5. Does it make sense? Here it is. And plus 10 times this 2 times x plus 5. Correct? Is equal to Okay, I'm running out of space here, so I'm just writing here equals to 3 times x plus 5 
times x minus 5 okay so that is a simplified form of our original equation correct you see we in the very first step got rid of fractions so that's the beauty of this now we'll open the brackets and equate them and solve okay now I'll leave most of the calculations for you to do the idea here was to get you started and I know simplification of these equations is at this moment not very difficult for you okay anyway so let's go ahead as much as we can and see where we land 10 times 2 is 20 20 times x 20x so we'll do 20x minus I'll use this term as not 20 10 times 2 is 20 right 20 minus 5 is minus 100 correct plus 20 times x is 20x correct and this is plus 100 oh god this 100 100 will cancel out good for me now here it is you remember x plus 5 times x minus 5 should be what x square minus 5 square this is difference of squares right so we get 3 times x square so I'll write 3x square minus 3 times 5 square 5 square is 25 25 times 3 is 75 as you can see I'm missing many steps purposely because I know you can do them right so try to do these steps yourself okay now here again minus 100 plus 100 will become 0 20x plus 20x is 40x correct what I will do here is take this 40x to this side and so this side becomes 0 again I'm skipping steps here on purpose so I'm left with 3x square minus I want to reorganize and write these x terms variables in decreasing orders of their exponent so here we have 20 plus 20 40 which I'm bringing on that side so it becomes minus 40 x okay and the number minus 75 okay which is already there now this equation can be factored right if you feel you can use quadratic formula at this stage and you know uh, what is x equals to according to quadratic formula minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 is c everything divided by 2 times a where a is 3 b is minus 40 and c is minus 75 so you can use that right second is you can factor this term correct so if you factor this from here you can find product and sum and do the needful so when you do that factoring you will get this which is x minus 15 times 3x plus 15 equals to 0 okay I'm skipping steps on purpose for factoring you can look into my video on factoring okay factoring trinomials and that will explain you how to do this correct now here we get 0 equals to these two factors now it could be 0 only if the one of them factors is 0 right when will this be 0 this will be 0 at x equals to 15 right and this will be 0 at x equals to minus 15 over 3 well we are not interested in the negative values we want positive values x is the speed right in still water it could be 0 but it is definitely 0 or more than 0 not negative right so we land up with a speed of x equals to 15 so the next step is to write your answer very clearly so we'll say answer here is it says find the rate at which the crew can row in still water so you say the rate at which the crew can row in still water is 15 don't forget the units kilometers per hour so I'll say rate is 15 kilometers per hour okay but you have to write the full statement don't forget that I hope you appreciate the method and the way we try to tackle it let's go it in short once again read the problem at least twice to understand what you're trying to do visualize what is to be done make a neat sketch as we did here define your variables put the values in look for relationships correct sometimes table like this helps you to do a better job make a table spend some time here before you start working on the numbers that's the last thing to be done and properly 
the easiest thing at the moment okay so once you get these things here then you can translate these into form of your equation right now this equation can be solved very easily by eliminating the denominator multiply all with the common denominator get a simple and plain polynomial equation right which in this case is just a quadratic equation factor it get the answer and write complete answer with units I hope you understand and appreciate what I'm trying to say. This will help you to get maximum marks, full marks, 100% in your test. All the best. Thanks.